Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to take a look at an example of a sigma pp bond. That means a sigma bond between two p orbitals. Now here we have the chlorine gas uh, molecule. We have two chlorines. Uh, they, all, they each have seven valence, valence electrons and so when they make a bond they can share the one electron um, in the one of the two p, one of the three p orbitals, share that and form a bond like that. So that would, that's what the Lewis structure would look like. But what we need to do in order to get a, a better feel for the physical structure and to see what kind of bonds we'll be forming is we need to draw out where all the electrons are located at. So we have the one s orbital filled, we have the two s and the two or two p orbitals filled, the three s orbital filled, and all but one of the uh, six electrons. So five out of six electrons are filling the three p orbital. We have one p orbital with only one electron, which would indicate there's only one p orbital that can make a bond, a valence bond, with another atom. And that's exactly what happens, since each of the chlorines has one valence electron spot available. They can join together, they can have an overlapping situation between the p orbital right here, put the two electrons in there and therefore form that valence bond. Again, the two electrons are in phase within the overlap uh, position because there's only one electron contributed from both orbitals. All the orbitals already have electrons in them, for example, this orbital in this direction, let's say that this is the z direction, this is the, x, the y direction, this is the x direction, so in the z direction that orbital has, is already filled, in the x direction that orbital is already filled, but in the y direction there's only one electron in this orbital, there's only one electron in this orbital, so they can come, overlap and join together and form what we call a sigma pp bond. Now, let's see, let me draw the other electrons in there so you can see that that orbital is completely filled, that orbital is completely filled, so none of those other orbitals are able to form any bonds. Likewise, the 3s orbital is not capable of making any bonds because that orbital is filled with two electrons as well, and therefore there's no electrons available to make a bond there as well. So there's a nice example of what a sigma pp bond looks like in the case of the chlorine gas molecule.